Hello, I am Katherine and welcome to my channel KZ Beauty Coach. Today is a fun day to play with some makeup. This is the finished look. This is the pumpkin spice latte look that I put together. All of the products, pretty much all of the products, are on theme with either pumpkin, spice, or latte. And I had a lot of fun pulling these and seeing which combinations work together. We had some products that were great and some that were not so great. So I would love for you to stay tuned and see which products were winners and which products were duds. I would also love it if you would go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you can be alerted anytime that I post a new video and give it a thumbs up if you're enjoying kind of just some fun playing with makeup because that's a fun thing to do, isn't it? Stay tuned to see how I created this pumpkin spice latte fall makeup look. Okay, so let's play with some makeup. The first product I'm gonna put on today is from Morphe 2. This is their skin tint, and believe it or not, I actually found a color that had latte in it, even for my skin tone. This is actually the shade Hint of Latte. And this is a very thin formula. It comes in like a serum drop-like bottle. I'm gonna go ahead and just put some on my hand. It's very liquidy. I'm gonna be using my Sigma F80, the flat Kabuki. I'm gonna go ahead and place some of this on my skin. And like I said, this is a very thin formula. So even though you can kind of tell it's a little peachy on me, it blends pretty nicely. I've only used it a couple times, but it actually is very skin-like which is what it's supposed to be, just a very thin foundation, but very nice and actually has decent coverage. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish applying my foundation. Okay, so this is the foundation, the Morphe 2 Skin Tint in Hint of Latte. The next product, um, I didn't ha couldn't find obviously a concealer that had pumpkin spice or latte in it. So I'm actually just gonna use this Shape Tape Concealer and I will be back when that is applied. Okay, so now I have my concealer applied. I'm gonna be using this Pro Filter Powder, Setting Powder from Fenty and this is in the shade Butter, so it doesn't quite fit in our theme, but at least it's food related. <laughs> okay, so the next product I'm gonna be using, is I'm not setting my whole face because I am gonna be using a few cream products, and the first one for contour I'm gonna be using is this Physician's Formula, this is their um, Sculpting Bronzer Stick, and this is in the shade Mocha. So not quite latte, but at least I'm in the coffee family. Uh, and I'm gonna be using this Morphe 2 brush to apply. And what I find the best way to do this is just to kind of go right on top of this, get some on your brush, and then just lightly work it through where you want it to be. We'll do the other side. The next product is also cream, and it is a blush from Fenty Beauty. This is the blush Rose Latte. I'll let you see. It looks really dark and bronzy, but these, blush, these cream blushes from Fenty are beautiful, and they really sheer out very, very nicely on the skin. So I'm gonna be using, this is a new brush that I have from BH Cosmetics, 
and we're gonna try this out for cream blush. So I'm gonna put some on the brush and I'm just gonna kind of bounce that on my cheek. I think you can see it just gives a nice um, kind of a Indian summer type look, kind of a burnt rosy color, which I think is so pretty this fall. I've been drawn to all of those colors in clothing and in makeup. Because before I would have been really scared of a color like this, but as you can see, you can really shear this out and kind of blend it the way you want to blend it. I don't want to do too much on the cheeks today because my eyes are gonna be a little bit bolder, so I want to keep this pretty minimal, but I really do like the way this is looking. And it blends really nicely in with the cream bronzing, bronzing stick as well. This brush is actually really nice for this. It's, it's a good density and good firmness. The highlighter that I'm gonna to use today is from Beauty Bakery, and it is from their palette that's called the Milk and Honey palette. And I'm just gonna use this lightest shade today. I'm gonna to be using this e.l.f. highlighting brush. And I'm just gonna do a light hand on this, tap it off and go on the top there of my cheek. So the next product is from for brows and I actually did find a product from Morphe and this is their brow product and it is called Latte. It is in the shade Latte. So I'm going to go ahead and do my brows with Latte and then I'm going to put a little bit of clear gel from Almay on top of them to set them and I'll be right Okay, so I'm back with my brows done. I love doing these kind of themed videos for you guys because I always find a product that I would not have bought for myself. This Morphe brow pencil is one of them, but I really, really like the color and I really like the formula. It's just pigmented enough, just waxy enough. It's a really good pencil. So I'm enjoying this a lot. This was my inspiration for this look. So I want to actually keep this kind of simple. I have played with this quite a few times. This shade right here to me is the star. I just love it. It almost has kind of a duochrome effect to it. Um, and this matte shade is really nice. This matte shade that I've used to try and deepen is very patchy and I've had a, a harder time with that. And to be honest, I haven't even gone into this one because I really love this shimmer so much. So I'm actually just going to focus on these two today. So I'm going to take the matte shade, that first matte shade, all over my eye. I am going to take that same matte shade under the lower lash line. Okay, and then now on to the sparkle, which is what is so pretty in this palette. Uh, I'm going to take a flat shader brush. This is from Anastasia. And I'm going to dip into this and all along the mobile lid, just lightly pat it on. I'm just very lightly patting this on because this does pack quite a punch. Okay, and you can see how pretty that shimmery shade is. This shade 
is really impressive with if you have blue eyes or green eyes like I do or hazel eyes. It really makes your eye color pop. I'm gonna curl my lashes and put on some mascara and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back now with mascara on. Um, I will say that I did buy an eyeliner for this look um, and it is this one from e.l.f. that is called Coffee. And I have tried now three and four times and I just can't get it. it, it, it it's just nothing is coming out. I, can, I even drew on a piece of paper and still I can't get any type of drag from it. So this product, um, I didn't even want to attempt it this go round because it's just a dud. It, I would not recommend this e.l.f. No budge retractable liner. So let's go ahead and do lips. Um, the other inspiration for this was using this MAC pencil, lip pencil in the color Spice, which I love to get out in the fall. This is a pretty intense color. And so when I have a color like that, I like to soften it with this Chanel um, Rouge Allure Metallic. It's, it's, a, it's actually called Metallic Beige, but it's kind of like a gold color. So you'll see, I'm gonna go ahead and put on Spice and then go ahead and put that Chanel on the top. So I have the spice on, and as you can see, I've just been kind of playing with it to kind of tone, tone it down just a little bit. And then I'm gonna put this metallic beige right on the top. Okay, so this is the finished look. What do we think? This is the pumpkin spice latte look. I want to briefly just go over a few of the products. Of course, this was the um, re whole reason for this entire video, and I love it. And I also love this um, creamy blush, this cream blush that, um, called Rose Latte from Fenty. I think it's fabulous. I really enjoyed this foundation. I think it's a nice foundation. I'm glad to have it. It is kind of interesting that it was in Hint of Latte, which is the whole reason why I got it. But I really am enjoying this formula of this Morphe 2 skin tint. This Mocha stick from Positions Formula blended really nicely and actually really was nice with a cream blush. They blended very nicely together. So I am pleased with that. Um, of course, the MAC Spice is a classic and it's just fun to pull out, especially when you wanna do kind of that rusty orangey type of look. Um, I do like this highlight palette. It's very subtle and um, not a just a glaring highlight, which is really nice as well. And I think I've covered everything. Oh, no, sorry. The Morphe Latte um, Eyebrow Pencil, very impressed with and will continue to use. Love it very much. So I love doing these looks because pulling things together from a theme gives me an opportunity to try some new products and also kind of pull out some of my older products and see which products work together really well. So this was a lot of fun for me. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you did, please subscribe. Go ahead and give this a thumbs up and ring that notification bell so that you can be alerted whenever I post a new video. I'm so glad that you spent some time with me today. I appreciate it more than you know. Thank you.